how this waste management system works on these dairies and what happens with waste on these dairies, which is quite a bit different from how we deal with it on a city. A cow produces, one cow produces the amount of waste that 10 people produce. So on a dairy like this, where we have close to 2,000 cows, um, that's about like the waste from 20,000 people. And that's just uh, the bathroom waste, okay? Not all of the other waste. Uh, what you're seeing here is the free stalls where the ha cows are housed. Um, they're in these free stalls during the day. They're staying in the shade to stay away from the heat um, or from the rain in the winter. Um, when they're eating, they're standing um, on f soft beds, but their backs are towards a what's called a flush lane. It's a concrete lane that collects uh, their fecal waste. The, uh, these concrete lanes are flushed with uh, with recycled wastewater, and they go. The, the the wastewater is going into a settling basin where they. That settle out the solids. And down here you can see at the very end of that uh, long pile you can see a little bit of solid waste that's being stored and they'll later use that either as a soil amendment or for bedding uh, for the cows. Cows like to stand very softly. But the liquid part goes into these wastewater lagoons and is stored in these wastewater lagoons for use as a fertilizer on the crop. So if you, if you swing around your camera on our back we can see um, a cornfield that is currently being harvested. The manure is being applied during the summer to this cornfield while it's growing up. And so hopefully most of the nutrients are in the corn now. And as this harvesting machine uh, cuts the corn, it puts the nutrients essentially back into the truck. So if you can imagine the manure going into the soil, into the corn, and now it hopefully much of it is back in the truck. Um, this truck will take it, and maybe you can pick up this truck right here, you can see the green chopped corn. Um, this truck will drive it over to where you earlier saw those big uh, um, white feet mountains. And um, they're building uh, a feed mountain that will last these cows for quite some time. Um, and you can see one of these feet mountains over there. They uh, built these mountains and then cover them with the white plastic to protect it from both the sun and the rain. And use it as feed for the cow. And that's what closes much of this nutrient cycle. Now the key question of course is, and what we're doing here, is does this cycle, is this a really a closed cycle? Um, we know it's not quite a closed cycle. I mean, agriculture open operates in an open environment and the question becomes and, uh, that's the question becomes is, is the system leaking and that's why we're drilling these monitoring wells to find out to which degree there is indeed leakage going on and uh, how that impacts our water quality especially as far as salts and nitrate are concerned.